Dude, we got him. It's uh, Monday, December 11th, about three o'clock. And uh, we just got to the spot here in Nebraska. Doing a little late season muzzleloader action. Uh, met up with Nate and Tom behind the camera from Identical Draw today. Basically the setup for tonight is we got access to a small little piece of private. Um, this area doesn't have a whole lot of cover on it. This private spot that we do have has probably the most cover of anything that we drove around so far, which has been just a little bit. Uh, but when you look at it on the map, there isn't a whole lot. So hoping this area um, is holding some deer. I think the plan tonight is going to be just, you know, get, sit back, observe, see if we can get eyes on something and hopefully come up with a plan for uh, for the next couple days. Yeah, I think this area is very solid. Um, movement is definitely going to be hit or miss, but I think for sure later this week it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow we got about a 20 degree temp drop, so hopefully we can get some intel tonight and capitalize on that tomorrow with some better weather. Obviously our wind. Yeah, perfect. The thing that jumped out at me was kind of like even just up in here with that wind kind of doing this, you're definitely out of the game for shooting anything unless they come out in that corner. Um, but it would allow you to see basically all of this. Yeah, and it, uh, yeah, I think with how the topo, you're kind of up higher there. Yeah. Um, we could definitely give that a look. I, there were a lot of trails coming out there. Thanks, Nebraska. Finally found a spot where we can have some visibility here. Found a new spot, you kind of have to weigh what you want to be able to see and have to your advantage and not have. And we basically came to the conclusion that we can see more here more of a scout mission. We lose a corner that we really liked in this field, but that's kind of the only thing that we're losing now. So we got really good visibility. Still wearing the chips, we can still shoot something from the spot, so we're just gonna brush up this area a little bit. Do you want the propane tank or the tire? Oh, uh, you got a grill. <laughs> There's an opening right there in those trees that goes down to that bottom where that food plot used to be. Interesting. So that could be a good spot for them to come up to. Yeah. Here. Right on the field edge. Yeah. He's, he's uh, just straight down from where that coyote was by that white gas thing. It's a little, another deer. All right, well, that's gonna do it for uh, day one. Um, ended up seeing probably about 15 deer, and tonight is probably the least ideal weather that we're gonna have for the trip. So that's really encouraging. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a big temp drop off. Um, we were able to kind of pinpoint a tree that I think if we can get to that area tomorrow, there's a white like uh, gas, um, like pipeline type thing, and all those deer seem to kind of congregate up through there, so. That's the general area that we want to be in for tomorrow evening. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with that for the afternoon tomorrow and uh, see if we can put a play on them. Uh, just want to see what this road looks like. Then we'll yeah. turn around. Yeah, and, yeah. especially on that back edge. Bucks. Yeah. Should we keep poking along. Yeah. Like how that, it kind of like jets out like that, meaning that this back corner, like you can't. 
can't see it from the road. Right. So, kind of like an inside corner that they can yeah, feed, but be secure. Uh, yeah. Northeast wind would be like this. They'd have a crosswind doing that. It could make a ton of sense for them to be yeah. walking around in that, especially in sure. conditions like today. I mean, <clears throat> I know we have a, a pretty good idea for this evening, but I'm also like extremely yeah. curious about it. On an evening, that's the thing that's driving me nuts. Because I want to hunt it on an evening, but I mean, we also have something that's pretty confident over there. Would there ever be a situation where you divide and conquer? <laughs> I love dividing and conquering, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. A lot of tracks, a lot of crossing, kind of coming out from this section of timber going into the oxbow. All right, well, it's just before two o'clock. We just dropped Nate off, and uh, Tom and I are gonna head over to the opposite side of the property that we scouted last night. We saw a bunch of deer in there. Uh, temps are way cooler, conditions are way better. Got the perfect wind direction, so, uh, Fingers crossed for tonight, we feel good about it. December 12th and Tom and I just got set up in what might be the sketchiest setup I've ever seen. <laughs> so basically what we have here is a double trunk tree that kind of breaks off. Tom's on one, I'm on the other, and we're not very high, we're maybe 10 feet off the ground. And we're in this little opening in the middle of the cedar thicket. There's a big creek bottom to the east of us. We got an east wind blowing from the creek bottom back out towards us with cut corn uh, back behind. We scouted this last night from the opposite end of the property with an opposite wind and saw probably about 15 deer on this side of the creek all filtering out towards the standing corn. So it's really thick in this creek bottom and it's kind of a you know, goofy setup as far as like how we were able to get the saddles in the tree. So I'm gonna just hang on to the gun all night because if they do pop out in here, they're gonna be in range right away and we're never gonna hear them coming. Um, but I like this spot, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of cedars in here, a lot of good thermal cover, um, a lot of grasses, open areas for the sunlight to get in. So just ideal late season bedding cover. So the hope tonight is that we got something bedded nearby that's going to filter out to this cornfield looking for a snack. If it does, we're going to be waiting for them. So we'll see what happens. All right, it's just after 4.30 <clears throat> and we got just about an hour left. Haven't seen anything yet, but like Tom and I were talking, it's it's tough when you're in these little like openings like this. Like you're limited to just what you can see in front of you. You could be one opening off of where a huge buck is at, and you would never even know. But I think we're basically right where we were, where uh, we saw a buck last night. We're pretty much. I remember seeing that stuff kind of out behind my left shoulder there. So. That was right around this time, so we're gonna sit tight for, for another hour and hopefully we get one to come by. Well, I think that's gonna do it for tonight. We ended up seeing probably about seven or eight deer. All those that came by, kind of right at the edge of this little opening. Um, definitely good to see that many and in that concentrated of an area, but definitely was hoping to see a buck come through, but I think we're, we're gonna come up with a game plan for tomorrow, maybe push a little bit further in or something like that, so we'll see, we got a couple days left, but we're gonna stay after him. All 
All right, it's about three o'clock, just a little after three. And this is going in for hunt number three on this private piece. Uh, we hunted last night, saw a handful of deer. They all came out of a very specific area. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're pushing in just a little bit further and we're hoping there's a definitive area cover on this piece. And we think all the deer are gonna be coming out of that. Um, you might be able to see a couple sprinkles falling. It's just starting to rain. So we got the rain gear on. Um, we're gonna just sit on the ground tonight. Um, I think that's gonna, the, the tree we were in last night was pretty sketchy and there's very limited opportunities to get up in a tree on this piece. It's very heavy, like cedar cover and whatnot. So we're just bringing in the gun and the tripod and we're gonna give it the ground attack tonight. So we're gonna get in there, hopefully find a spot to brush in and uh, see what we can come up with tonight. Dude, we got him. Oh my God. Dude, that's a good buck. Dude, he's done right there. We got him, Tom. Oh. Oh. Dude, what a rodeo. I can't believe that worked. Came out in the field for 4, 4.30. It's the first buck we, first deer we saw. First buck we've had in gun range. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, dude, that is so awesome. He's a good buck. Heck yeah, man. Beautiful deer. Dude, that is so cool, man. That is a great deer. Oh, dude. Heck yeah, man. That is so freaking cool. What a pretty deer. Dude, he just came right out, right out of these cedars. So cool how this worked out. Like we kind of stage hunted our whole way in here all week over the course of the last three, four days. Got here on Monday, it's Wednesday evening. Um, Monday evening we did an observation sit on the east end of this property and uh, I believe we saw this buck come up where we sat last night. So last night then we the wind switched 180 degrees from west to east, pushed into the, the west side of the property, did a hanging hunt in a real small sketchy tree, uh, saw a pile of does, knew we had to adjust and we had to get down here closer to the bedding and sure enough 430 first year out in the field beautiful beautiful eight point buck comes out and uh made that shot count i am so so stoked dude that is freaking awesome time heck yeah 